In the latter part of April, spacecraft number seven was delivered to Cape Canaveral to Hangar S. After systems checks, the spacecraft with an astronaut aboard underwent pressure testing in the high altitude pressure chamber. The Redstone launch vehicle to be used in the flight test was delivered, checked and tested, and then raised on the launch pad. Two days before the flight, the Mercury recovery forces put to sea. And this test was to be the free world's first manned space flight. The command ship, the aircraft carrier Lake Champlain, was to be the first solid thing the astronaut would touch after a scheduled 16-minute flight into space. Gallons of liquid oxygen filled the tanks of the launch vehicle, and the launch was scheduled for the early morning of May 2, 1961. Prevailing weather conditions, however, caused the launch to be postponed. But on May 5, the astronaut selected to be the first Mercury test pilot was transported to the launch complex. Months had been spent in physical and mental tests of his readiness. A backup astronaut had undergone the same schedule. Just two years and seven months after the inception of Project Mercury, under the direction of the NASA Space Task Group, astronaut Alan B. Shepard traveled the 59 feet up the gantry and at about T minus 80 minutes, the hatch was secured. The countdown continued. Years of training, months of trial runs, days of tests, and hours of waiting and now, the links to the Earth were receding. The launch facilities recovery forces were deployed in the event of an early abort or malfunction. At T minus 10 minutes, the recovery helicopters left for the impact area. As countless millions watched and listened with bated breath, the astronaut maintained manual control of the craft and almost continuous voice communications with Earth. At 9.34 in the morning, the Mercury Redstone 3 flight, with astronaut Alan Shepard at the controls, traveled 300 miles, reached an altitude of 115 miles, and experienced about five minutes of zero G. Approximately 16 minutes after liftoff, the spacecraft, now dubbed Freedom 7, was located and recovered. <laughs>